this video we will completely learn how we can set up SDK, NDK, GDK for Unreal Engine 5.1 will be use all the lastest component so we will be not face any problem and also at the last I will show you the proof that yeah we can successfully export the first step you need to download the Visual Studio 2020 you can go to Microsoft official website and from there you can download the first you need to install the installer and second you need to download the Visual Studio instead of the installer uh, so first you need to just go to the visit their website and just simply install and then just by default you can install wherever you want and like in C drive or whatever it is but make sure you have an because we need to download lots of component okay and once you're done you need to first download the dot net frame development then second is c plus plus game development and the, at the last game development with c plus plus at here you need to also make sure click on your windows sdk depends like if you have windows 10 you can choose windows 10 if you have windows 11 so choose that i have windows 11 so i just chosen both of them and at the last you need to select the Unreal Engine installer and Android IDE support for Android because this is too much important and then click on download and just change the location if you want because there's a more than 40 to 80 GB uh, space you need so that's why I just changed my DX nothing else just you need basically the software and the, all the components okay and then you can simply click on download and install it can be take some time depends on your internet speed and also your computer and second step is you need to download the android studio we are going to use the uh, android studio most the lastest version so just simply click on download uh, so will be don't get any error and also let me show you with the new android studio setup okay once you're done you need to just simply click on by default installation in your C drive do not change the Android studio location otherwise you will face lots of issues related with JDK and Android SDK okay so once this, this thing done then you need to download the SDK and DK some components so second step is basically click on uh, do not input anything and simply go to next next and simply choose however you want and then the last step is you need to agreement all of them and then it will be again start some uh, download some component because this is too much important for uh, android studio by default it will be give you the uh, the build installer 13.033 and some uh, component relative with android studio so it can be run so we also need some more import uh, component related with our unreal engine because we need to change some same some config in our unreal engine so in the second step you need to just click on more option sdk at here you need to select the uh, api level 32 that is the android 12 and then you can choose the 5.0.1 that is the lollipop version and as a lowest if you want then click on show modes at here you need to build uh, download the build to 13.00 and also in the ndk level you need to download the 7.0071 uh, and the android is to last is build version and cmaker 10.1010 and also you can download the ND, ndk glasses version that is uh the eight nine something something version okay that is also too much important if you want okay then simply click on uh, apply and agree and that that stuff all of that here then it will be take some time to download all of the component depends on the internet speed so just wait some time and give it some time your android studio to install all, all of them file then second the third step is you need to then go to your uh, computer variable and you need to set up the jdk for your computer variable or otherwise you'll face lots of issue on once you are relative uh, with the, the java cannot config java could not find or lib live 2.00 jar file etc error will be faced if you don't set up the jdk on your envir environment variable so that is too much important so yeah so let's go step step number three so let's first keep download okay so once done it will be look like something like this so you simply click on finish and then let's set up the jdk on our pc environment so because we install android studio so we have now jdk so simply enable your android uh sorry uh, environment variable click on advanced and then at here you need to first create a new path called java home make sure that is in all the capital letter then just write simply and then you need to find the location of your jdk so by default it's in a c drive program files then let me show you with my pc okay so you find something like that jdk and uh, program files and write then jdk 
JDK host, then JDK point version, then instead of that build, you need to select. Then in the path section, you need to do the same thing. Even you can post my video and you can do the same stuff. Just, you know, you just look up the, also I give you the path location in my description. So you can even easily copy paste from there. If you do the same stuff, what I did, so you will find something similar. So make sure you do on system variable too right here also the java home and also so make sure that you paste the location accurately otherwise it will be never work so once this thing done click on ok and ok now you need to go to android engine and just set up some config at here go to sdk and just select your folders you find the sdk in your c drive c drive slash app data slash sdk and instead of sdk you find also the ndk and jdk just simply now change it to your com dot package name data because this is too much important then select the api level and select all of them necessary step what you need depends on your pc make sure that is the default rhs and disable the ios you know config and just enable android and just simply give a restart and once you give the restart you can simply click on android export and now it will be take some time to export all of them so just wait some time get some you know patience because you are exporting your game right now for some of the uh, users it can be take half an hour depends on pc config and also your internet uh, supply how much speed you have for example uh, if you don't have a good pc like ram processor it can be take more than half an hour but if you have a good pc and good internet connection so it will be only take for 10 to 10, uh, 10 minutes highest 10 minutes to export a game but others if you are using uh, just you know create a loss of heavy game and there's a loss of texture assets materials so at that time it can be take some time so make sure you have some patience also if you if you see any type of error you can send me that error or the config log in my youtube channel uh at the comment box also you can send me in my discord so as a result here's the final result so after then only 10 minutes you find something like this that build successful and you have now the apk so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next tutorial video now we have discord channel so you can join there and also you have any type of question or if you want to send me any log you can just go there and join and you can send me also we have telegram channel so you can join there too you can follow us in our facebook page or visit my profile and you can download my game from google play store if you have any personal project or you want to just send me personally something so you can send me gmail on my gmail id also in lincoln you can get my paid course from udemy link in the description below also you get my plugins assets and other stuff in my epic marketplace account link in the description below